So I run into a friend of mine. What are you doing here? I said, I'm getting wardrobe for a movie. He says, what is it? I said, Silence of the Hams or Lamb. <laughs> I, I, I can't remember. Who's in it? Jodie Foster and Anthony. Uh, and the guy says, Perkins. I says, yeah, Anthony Perkins. He said, oh, that's pretty neat. So you know who, who that is? I said, no. He said, he's from Psycho. I said, oh, I know that guy. He had a black, oh, I know that. So two, three days later, I'm on set, get my coffee. Here comes this guy in a blue jumpsuit. He said, good morning. I said, good morning. He said, Stan, hey, where'd you get the uh, coffee? I said, it's behind the soundstage. Can I get you something? I said, can you give me a bagel and two cream cheese? <laughs> oh, sure. Comes back, sitting there. I said, we're eating, talking. I said, have you done much? He said, I've done a few things. I said, <laughs> I've done like 30, 35 movies. I says, I've Ooh. featured in Gung Ho and with Michael Keaton. You could see me like three different times in the same. Oh, that's nice. Bragging. I said, when a director says action... Give it like two or three seconds before you go. Why? You're giving be- advice because to you'll, Hopkins. Because you'll be in the scene. Usually, if you watch a scene, most of the time you walk past the scene and you're out of the scene. Oh, that's very good, very good. And, uh, and, and if you see, when you go to a set, if you see a chair turn backwards, sit next to that chair. Why? That's where the main actor's going to sit. Oh, I didn't know that. I said, yeah, I, I'm telling you. Thank you, thank he's, you. He's probably still well, telling the story to this day. I don't know who he is. So... Hour later, people, Don Brockett comes by. Hey, John. Hey, Don. How you doing, buddy? That's my friend, Don Brockett. He's a pretty big actor. I says, I'll have you get a picture of him later. Oh, that'd be nice. So we're talking about soccer. He's from Wills and this and that and the other. Foods, pierogies, just different. My parents were up in the old country, just different stuff. Well, I'd like to have some pierogies someday. I said, well, if we work together, I'll take you to my mom's church on the south side. Oh, okay. So uh, here comes Jodie Foster. She's walking towards us. You recognize Jodie Foster? Well, I knew her, yeah, for sure. I kicked her, I kicked him under the table. I said, here comes Jodie. She probably wants my autograph. <laughs> he said, maybe, maybe. She's coming closer, closer. Now I could feel my cheeks getting red. I don't know why. I know that's why, now why, because I have high blood pressure. And she said, uh, good morning, Anthony. How are you? And he said, just just fine, Jodie, just fine. And this is my friend Johnny who's giving me some tips. <laughs> I'm like... Wait a second. Uh, who, 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 what are you, part you playing? So I'm playing the, he showed me the script. Wait, who, what happened to the guy from Psycho? He said, I don't know. I said, nobody told me. I thought the guy from Psycho was in this movie, not you. I didn't know you. I'm sorry. Oh, no. He hugged me. We, he hugged me, honest to God. He said, you know what? He wanted to bite This is, no, no, <laughs> this is the best conversation I've had. He said, somebody to sit down and just talk to me about everything except films and everything. He said, and, he, and then, Three days later, I got to be on set again as a detective, get cut out, and uh, we start talking. Hey, about those pierogies? I, said, well, it's, I think it was a Friday. My mom's making them. It's like five minutes from here. You want to go? He said, sure. So I took him to the St. John the Baptist on 7th Street in this dungy basement where they're making pierogies and sitting there. I knew he was somebody bigger. I didn't know what he did. I just knew he was a lead actor in this movie. And we're eating pierogies, and he had like six p- potatoes with the onions and the butter and everything. And took him back to the car. We go to set. Did you introduce him to mom? Well, they didn't know who he was. They're all, they, most of them couldn't speak English, to be honest with you. That's, that's <laughs> the way it was. And I just, I think my grandmother was there and they just shook hands. And uh, long story short, we go back to set and there was cops there. And they thought I kidnapped him because he didn't tell nobody we're leaving. He said, we'll just go. When they see me, they, I almost got fired, but he stuck up for me. He said, no, no, we got the pierogies. And it was all cool. It was the last day I worked. I don't know if it was because <laughs> they didn't need me anymore or something happened, but I didn't get called anymore. But uh, it was kind of towards the end of the movie anyway. So that was a good story there. I mean, it was uh, and a great man. I mean, he was just so down to earth. Really? And I felt so embarrassed. Uh, so I knew I had high blood pressure and I got my medication. Thank God. It's probably going up right now just thinking about it. You probably see my cheeks are red. Wow, that's a great story. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's once in a lifetime. 